Welcome everyone. I'm back, y'all. So we're gonna do another message. This is going to be a collective read, so it may or may not resonate. If it resonates, all the better. Be sure to like the video as well as comment, share with yourself and your friends. Ooh, right now my eye is jumping. All right, so let's talk. Let's see what messages we get for the collective. What's going on with the collective and their person? Um, I'm pulling from the Twin Flame journey. So this is a Twin Flame reading. I don't think I said it at the beginning of the reading. <laughs> All right, so what's going on with you and your Twin Flame? Ooh. Okay. It looks like things need to be balanced, okay? Um, we got balancing the scales. So somebody here is trying to find balance, okay? Okay. Yeah. Also, oh, okay. Damn it. Okay, so we got the answer is no. That's the first card that jumped out. We got the answer is no. I'm going to pull some tarot on this to see if we can get the background. Because it looks like, <clears throat> some of you could be dealing with the Libra. But it just looks like... Somebody is saying hell no to something. Tell me why the answer is no. It's here. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. And we got the Three of Swords and the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay. So somebody has been saying that they haven't been... That they haven't had sex with someone. Clearly, a third party. Okay. Communication is here. Tell me more about communication. The sun. Okay. A Leo could be involved. Um, but we got the chariot, the hangman, and the knight of swords. Okay, so... Some of you could be dealing with the Cancer or a Pisces here with the Hangman. Okay, so progress of moving forward has been put on hold. Until this, per until the truth comes out, until things are illuminated, I see somebody here being extremely pissed with the Knight of Swords energy here. Like somebody is pissed, okay? And until some light is shed on this situation, the answer is going to be... <laughs> It's a no, like, and I feel like someone here, okay, we got the six of wands, six of swords, and the five of wands. Someone could be doing this for attention. Um, they're behaving like this for attention. I see a lot, a lot of conflict, competition. Yeah, and somebody here being disappointed or not wanting to compete or not feeling like they should have to compete. Okay, yeah, because we got somebody who is a seven of swords energy, somebody who is a liar, who's being deceptive. Okay, this person could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got the Ace of Wands, again, with this King of Wands, again, and this Three of Swords. Somebody could be on a separation, okay? We got the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. That definitely is separation type of energy. You and this person could be, like, on a split or a separation. This person could be the runner. You know, the Twin Flame energy definitely has that runner and chaser type energy sometimes. This could be what's going on, okay? Somebody here is being deceptive. Okay. Why is the sun here? The queen of wands. A Leo could be involved, especially with that sun there. Um, Aries. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. 
okay? Communication, somebody's communicating with the earth sign. This uh, Leo could be communicating with this earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This person could have been being extremely patient. Um, maybe you've been extremely patient with this person um, because this person came and offered you some type of offer came to you saying that they wanted to be with you, how they wanted to do the family thing, how they wanted this Ten of Cups energy with you. But this person possibly still stuck on the past with the Six of Cups here. This person is very ego driven. Could be an Aries because we got the Emperor here, or this person could be older. Um, could be older than you, or is a business owner, something in that in that nature. This person is still holding on to the past. Like they struggle with their choices that they make. Sometimes this person uh, is crying over spilled milk. Okay. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, we got the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Swords, and the Tower. There is something new. There's a new connection after um, a period of feeling burdened. Okay, so somebody here felt extremely burdened wanted, and wanted something new. They felt burnt out. They wanted some new energy. Um, this person is spying to see how you're handling this with the tower here and the justice here. I'm getting a lot of karmic energy. Like somebody wants to see karma play out. Somebody wants somebody to be served their karma. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. This King of Pentacles is the liar. This King of Pentacles is the deceptive energy, okay? This person is irrational as hell. They just make irrational decisions. They're always running off. Um, they very are very hot-tempered because things are on hold and they want things to move forward. They want things to move forward. There's a separation here for sure, for sure. Um, they definitely want to things to progress or move forward, but there's a standstill. It's like there's something in the way. It's like there's something in the way. Tell me more. Yeah, okay, so... Somebody is uh, feeling like they need to tell the truth or the truth will be revealed, okay? Somebody here is also having regrets about a decision that they made. Somebody is having heavy regret about a choice that they made, okay? And then I feel like they need to be honest with themselves. Somebody is hoping that a connection comes back together. So it looks like this, uh, somebody could be dealing, somebody has a third party here. There is a third party here for sure, for sure. Um, and the reason that I know it's a third party is it's a lot of seven of swords energy. At the bottom of this deck here, we got deception and we got commitment. And the commitment card is like a marriage, okay? So somebody could be married and they, um, somebody has a side piece, okay? Somebody has... A little mistress thing or, uh, you know, an affair going on on the side could be somebody that they met um, in the, from the past, okay? Could have been last summer, okay? And for some, like I said, this is your twin flame. This is your twin flame. And take it how it resonates, but there is, it's definitely looking like a third party is involved, Okay. Somebody is feeling like, this just came to me, somebody is feeling like, like the truth, if they tell the truth, they hope that you guys can come back together. 
Now we got mask. This is also someone who's deceptive. Somebody who isn't their authentic self. Why is mask here? Okay, the high priestess, queen of pentacles, hermit, the lovers, eight of cups, temperance. It looks like a Virgo could be involved as well as a Gemini with the lovers here. Eight of cups and temperance, Sagittarius energy. Some, it's, it's like somebody is pretending that they're fine but they aren't. <laughs> They're wearing a mask. But look, tell me more about the high priestess here. The nine of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody is trying to portray like they're good, single, they're happy, but really they're waiting for this connection to come back together. They're waiting for somebody to put, this is crazy. We got the Hierophant, Taurus, this energy could be done with the Taurus, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Ace of Cups, and the Page of Swords. This person... If you're married to this person, this person is waiting for this connection to come back together. They're waiting for some effort to be put in. Um, like I said, the devil is here. This could be an unhealthy or a toxic situation. Okay, somebody could have some type of addictions or obsessive type behavior, controlling type of behavior. But they're spying to see if, since the truth has gotten out, or the truth will be coming out, they're spying to see what's new. Like, what's new in your love life? Why is the paper so here? They want to see how you feel. It's like this person, yeah, the Six of Swords. They want to see if they could either get away with it. Or they want to see... Why is the Six of Swords here? Five of Swords. They want to see if they can get away with this. You got the death and the six of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Wow. So somebody is saying they didn't get anything. They aren't getting anything out of the deal. The death card, six of pentacles, ten of pentacles, five of pentacles. Somebody is saying they aren't getting what they want out of the deal. Somebody is saying they aren't getting uh, their benefits out of the deal. Um, and they over here stressing out about that. Could be their finances is jacked up. We got the Nine of Wands and the World. And the Moon and the uh, Will of Fortune. Four of Wands, Knight of Wands. I'm kidding. If some of you are married, this person is definitely not marriage material. This person is a player. Knight of Wands. This person is here. They're, they're the type that say, look, when we together, everything good. Yeah, we married. But as soon as something go bad... Uh, we, we ain't, we ain't in a relationship no more, but y'all are married, but we not in a relationship no more. Like this person is not, not committal. Okay. This person does not have good communication skills either. This person want to make sure that you have some type of, they want to make you feel some type of way, like make you feel like you're the blame. This person is sick. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's just, they're out of their damn mind. <laughs> they're out of their damn mind. They've been wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask for one. Okay. Let me see what else this person wants to say. Then they bring a third party into the situation, making the situation even worse. Like... All right, so what does this person want to say to the collective? What does this person, Twin Flame, want to say to them? You're too good for me. I don't deserve you. And they want to date. Like this person, 
wants to go out and date. They want to date other people. They feel like they don't deserve you. And I think I said that <laughs> already. Like, they just feel like you're too good for them. And they want to date other people. This says, I want to date you. But I feel like they want to date you and not make things exclusive or not keep things exclusive and date everybody else too. Like, they don't want to commit. Have you moved on? I'm worried. Now they're going to be worried about if, you, if you're if you going to move on from them. <laughs> like, I don't know what type of person this is. All right, so if this message resonated with y'all, be sure to hit the thumbs up, comment below in the comment section, as well as share with your family and friends, all right? If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe because you aren't going to want to miss out on future videos. Until next time, ciao.